If you're looking for a quick way to adjust your audio, fade it in, fade it out, Final Cut Pro 10 has us covered and they've made it so crazy simple. I'm gonna show you how. Hey, I'm Kevin Colby and I love to help people like you share your passion and make an impact in the world with online video and marketing. If that sounds like something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button. So the new version of Final Cut Pro 10 just added a couple of upgrades in audio adjustment that now make adding a fade in and a fade out and adjusting audio so simple and fast. Let's hop on the computer and I'll show you how. Okay, so this is how amazing it is. So now if you want to, let's say, fade in and fade out quickly, just pick your clip. So we're gonna pick this clip right here and you can see it is not faded in and out. We go to modify and look at this. Adjust audio fades, apply fades, and bang. And let me go in, and I'll tell you what, I'm gonna change the view just so you can see it to audio. And look at this. These are, they're called handles, and it immediately, so that it's, that it's fading it's, in, so that it's, so that, so that. And it's fading <laughs> out. Now, that's one way you can do it. So let's, let's undo that, and let's go up here and say you just wanted to do the fade in. You can go back here. Fade in. Look at that, how quickly it adds it. You can go up here, adjust, fade, out. And just like that, it's automatically added that. Now, here's what's really cool. If you do this though, and let's say we're going to apply fades, now you can adjust it. You just drag the handle and you can adjust it however. This comes in really uh, uh, really convenient for certain audio or even uh, music. And now one more extra bonus. You ready for this? If you hover over the handle and you click on control, look what happens. Now it gives you the option of linear, S curve, plus three B dB or minus three. And based on what you do, it just changes that. So if I click that, it's automatically going to adjust that. If I go back and I say, click that, Notice the curve changed right here. I can go back and click it and let's say linear and it gives you more of the linear. So now you even have the option of changing the way it fades the audio and you can do it. You don't, I, I just did it on the out. We can do it on the in, right there. Same thing and you notice the curve changed. This is cool. So I don't know about you, but that's gonna save me a ton of time with just the click of the button, adding the fades in and the fades out. Now, that's not the only new thing in Final Cut Pro, so check out this video right here to see how you can repurpose your video quickly for any social media platform. See you in the next video.